Okay, so this is officially the first day of having a uh, launch monitor in the basement here. So what you'll see here is uh, this space is about nine and a half foot tall and 16 foot wide. So what I'm gonna be doing over the course of the next, uh, I guess day or so, is installing an enclosure. Give me one second here and I'll kind of give you the full view. So what I've got here is an eight and a half by 13 impact screen. I'll show you here. So I ordered this from Carl's place. Doesn't really show the cost here, but uh, this has the, the premium net. I'm sorry, the premium uh, screen, the premium golf impact screen. And it is the eight and a half by 13 by 10 foot deep golf simulator enclosure kit. And that's what's gonna take this spot over here. So I'm gonna piece this video together to kind of show you as I work through and get this thing installed. So we just bought this place about a month ago and it's got a monstrous uh, 1500 square foot unfinished basement. Uh, so it just happened to work out perfectly that they had uh, pre-framed one of these walls in to lead back into this area. And this space is actually gonna serve as two different functions where we're gonna put a couch and everything down here. We're gonna, you know, frame in the water heater and all that, put the bathroom in. But we're gonna put some uh, theater seats down here so that we can watch the fights, the games, we can play golf, whatever we wanna do. So again, you know, uh, the next clip of the video will show the floor. So what I opted to go with down here because everything's not finished, I really don't wanna put the edge strips in for the carpet and all that. And, you know, I'm looking to get this stuff put up pretty quickly. And Lowe's doesn't really have anything in green. I really, I originally wanted to put the green flooring in here, but instead I'm gonna be putting the, the premium self stick carpet tiles in here. And what I opted for is more of a, uh, I guess a gray, dark gray color. So as I get into, you know, the little hitting green and all that, I'll, I'll give you guys more of an in-depth kind of look at all that stuff. So, okay. Okay, let's give it some time to dry here and then we'll start throwing the flooring down. So I've been doing a little bit of reading on uh, when people put these uh, impact screens up. You know, it says stay 12 to 16 inches away from the wall and it really depends on the hitting uh, power of the golfer, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually stay about 12 inches off. So that support uh, just up here is exactly, I guess about 13 inches from the back wall. And I'd heard some people talk about hanging a, a thick, uh, comforter, you know, if you've got an old one, uh, nailed up to the wall, you know, directly behind the impact screen and that, that thick comforter there helps with taking a lot of the bounce back away, uh, once it hits the screen. So I figured while I'm putting this up, may as well go in and nail that up there before I lay the floor. So this comforter here is about nine foot tall. So it'll be about six inches or so from the bottom of the floor and it'll go all the way up and it's about eight and a half foot wide. So, you know, it'll, it'll really just, just cover this area here. So, yep. okay. So we've got the old comforter hanging about 12 and a half, 13, maybe even 14 inches off the wall here. So the idea is once I put the flooring down, I'm actually, you know, because this flooring is so expensive, I'm gonna not go all the way back to the back wall back here. Uh, I'd like to get that extra half 
uh, to one foot or 16 inches down here on the end. Uh, I've probably already got about <clears throat> to, you know, to include the flooring and everything about $6,000 into all this. So, you know, at this point, I don't see any point in wasting critical square footage on the flooring. Some of you, I don't know, may, may disagree, but I have no intention of ever moving this, you know, until, you know, if ever one day I saw the house, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, the, the enclosure's 14 and a half foot wide. This, this section here is 15 foot wide and it's gonna go all the way back. And then, well, it's a good thing I added 10% to this. Uh, I probably couldn't get it to work out this perfectly ever again. Um, I had a perfect amount to go from side to side and then I'll cut these pieces in half and fill that extra foot on the end which tells me that I can actually go to the very back of the wall which is honestly that's great that's uh, absolutely great news so I just got you know everything's just laying on the floor here again this is uh, the, the pull and stick uh, carpet tiles and you know these things are about $93 a box each box has about 60 square foot in it. So, you know, once I get this stuff down, if I wanna put, you know, a couple throw rugs and kind of what I was thinking was getting a wide rug there just in, you know, up near the uh, impact screen. So when it hits and it falls to kind of help push it back. And then what I was thinking too, is I've got a five by five uh, hidden green that I could theoretically put there and remove some of the tiles and I could have those extra tiles back there, but I think I'll make the additional $93 investment just to fill this, this little void in right here. That'll take about another box. And uh, so then I'll go from wall to wall to wall. And you know, from here where I'm standing all the way back there, I believe is about 18 feet. So again, that, that hitting screen's only gonna come out about 10 feet and I'll have my, my green and then in the behind it back here, I'll have a couch so that we could stream games and fights and, you know, play golf and all that. So and for those of you who don't uh, don't know it, and I don't think I said it yet, I did get the premium Skytruck package where it comes with TGC, uh, the protective case and all that. I'll end up removing this light up here. Uh, and then I'll end up hanging one of these little clamp on lights. I saw another uh, YouTuber, Skytrack users video where he, he took this and then he extended it down with a piece of cardboard and it threw a, a nice little circle here of light and it kept everything else dark. So that should work perfectly. All right, now I'm gonna start peeling and sticking these tiles to the floor. So far I've gotten about a box of it put down and uh, <laughs> man, I gotta admit that's uh that's pretty nice. So it, it gets you to lay some this way, some this way, and it gives you, yeah, the lighting's not really good enough to see that pattern, but uh, I guess just be mindful of the squareness of your basement. Uh, what I did is a lot like laying laminate is I left about a half inch to an inch all the way around so that I can keep it square. But so far, so far so good. Uh, you know, I'd say get some knee pads because uh, it's pretty hard on the old knees, so. All right, uh, you'll probably be glad that I time-lapsed this. It wasn't terrible. Uh, probably took me, I don't know, an hour and a half or so uh, to put all this down. So what I ended up doing was going wall to wall to wall to wall. Yeah, I would say just like laminate flooring, leave a little gap on the end. Uh, I got a little tight down in this area right here. So, all right, next thing, uh, I've got all the one inch uh, conduit. So I'm gonna start bringing that down, uh, cutting it to length, and I'm gonna start putting up the, uh, the frame for the enclosure. Also, I guess if you look right here, they've already roughed in bathroom plumbing in the entryways there. So I'm probably gonna buy enough carpet fill this space in here and then to go up to the door there so I uh, probably won't do that 
you know, today or before I get the enclosure put in, but I'm still waiting on the Skytrack system to come in. So once I get the projector and the hit screen and the enclosure in, we'll just watch movies and stuff down here until that stuff comes in. So, so I wanted to do an unboxing of, uh, of everything required for this. <clears throat> so again, I got the, uh, got the enclosure from Carl's place. I ended up getting the eight and a half by 13 by 10 impact screen. Um, the enclosure is more of a nine foot by 14 foot by 10. Uh, it's just a little bigger than the screen. So I kind of go over what comes in the box. So there's six of these uh, three-way corner posts. There are two of these L posts. And then there's three of the, the straight adapters that kind of piece together the 79 inch uh, sections. So I went by Lowe's today and grabbed uh, some of that one inch EMT conduit. But what I wanted to do was to go over everything. I'll tell you now that the box that it comes in is pretty heavy duty. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was about 60 to 80 pounds. Uh, it's pretty solid. A lot of these uh, brackets here kind of weigh down. So I had the, the premium, which is going to be their best quality screen uh, in terms of quality of uh, picture from the projector. And, you know, it comes already pre-grommeted and everything. And then these are going to be the enclosure side pieces here. And then it's got a, a weighted section for the bottom. Those are actually pretty heavy. I'm actually surprised. Then it comes with all the, the ball bungee cords there. So what I ended up getting um, was a 1080p uh, BenQ. I got this off Amazon. I believe it was about $800. So this is a short throw unit. So what you're going to want to do is you want your projector to be in front of you. So... I believe at about six feet, it'll cover uh, 14 foot wide and not by nine foot. So it's gonna be somewhere around where that light is. So I'm gonna end up actually taking this light out, putting a power box up there. Um, I'm not gonna need that light. That covering's gonna pretty much cover that area. And that would put the short throw projector about six feet from the screen. And the hitting mat would be anywhere from nine to 10 feet on center here. So that'll put the projector in front of me uh, to be far enough forward that I won't hit it with the club. And it, the projector will hang inside the enclosure. So, you know, once all the enclosure stuff is up, it's gonna be super dark inside there. So the screen quality should be awesome. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that. So again, wanted to kind of tell you, you know, if you go on uh, Skytrack's website, they talk about the operating systems whether it's a computer or an ipad that you need to run this so what i chose and i just got a, a new ipad air it's upstairs charging so then you require one of these uh lightning adapters i think it was like 29 bucks on amazon and again you know, the projector was seven or eight hundred bucks i can't remember the amount it was about 50 bucks and then i went on about a 25 foot hdmi cable so down here in the basement, the, the hitting enclosure is actually directly underneath the office upstairs where the Wi-Fi is. And we've got a 400 meg internet and we get really good signal down here. So uh, basically the Skytrack is going to hook into, uh, I'm going to wirelessly connect to the Skytrack with the iPad. And then I'm going to send it up to the projector. And basically that's it. So, uh, I think the next video is where you're going to see sections of the install. I had a couple additional things here. Uh, yeah, I bought this. I wouldn't say it's cheap. I mean, this thing's like 35 bucks. Uh, I'm going to cut that conduit with that tool there. It just, you know, it doesn't make a mess. It cleans. Uh, the cuts are clean. I don't have to grind them back or anything that little guy just in case uh got this 
surge protector here. I definitely don't want to lose anything, so I'm even gonna, you know, when I run a hard wire down to the unit, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and out of this. It's got a USB charger ports. It's got protected and grounded uh, plugs. So, you know, that thing there was about 30 bucks, but here is what I really wanted to show you guys. So this green comes from realfillgolfmats.com. The five by five is about 550 bucks. The cool thing about this is it really, you can kind of see what it's made out of. It's got the rubber backing and it's got a bunch of, you know, you know, thick simulated grass. But the cool thing about this is you could stick a golf tee in it. So it did. Come with what I guess is a I don't know, simulated golf tee, but look at that. Golf tee goes right in it. It's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. But the coolest thing about this is it doesn't give you golfer's elbow or anything like that. So when you make impact with the mat, it feels a lot like a fairway and very little like a mat. So I'm pretty excited to actually hit balls off that. All right, so I've got everything pre-cut. And staged where it needs to go. All the corners, and adapters. Yeah, so here's the uh, real fill uh, golf mat. It's actually it's got uh, holes in it, kind of where my toe is right here and right here, but it's got it on all four sides. So if you go to the website, they recommend that you know every couple months or so of hitting, just rotate it 25 degrees. You know. 25 rotate at 90 degrees this thing right here I thought it would uh, make life a little easier I gotta be honest this thing sucked there was a lot of cuts that I had to do and uh, so what I did is I went on and marked the length on them I marked four inches uh, in the book it wants you to insert four inches into the adapters so you know once you get the the side covers and the top cover and all that on. They said if you got any bagging or slacking it to pull it out a little bit to tighten it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in and get the frame up. And after that, we'll get the sides. All right. So <clears throat> I think one of the harder parts are done now. Man, I'll tell you, uh, this thing literally fits perfect so I'm actually very, very lucky uh, you know that I measured everything in a few spots down here just to make sure I had clearance so as you're doing this you're gonna see in the directions where it asks you to insert into these uh, corner brackets about four inches so as I cut them I went ahead and marked them with a sharpie at four inches so you know once I got everything up I was then able to go back around and slot it out to the blue four inch line. And everything's perfectly square now. So I've already tightened everything up. And so next, we will be going around <clears throat> and putting the enclosure together. All right. And here is the finished product with the enclosure, the premium screen and all. So, uh, the next video will be hanging the projector, getting all that set up and everything. I gotta say, this thing fits like a glove. Uh, super tight. It's got really good quality. So, all in all, it's about 6.30 p.m. I started at about noon, so including prepping the floor, uh, laying the floor, cutting all the one inch conduit, putting the frame up, then the sides, and then the screen, about six hours. So just this setup here that you see, we've got 
$1,450 for the enclosure. It's a 10 foot enclosure, the premium screen. Um, the aspect ratio I bought was a 1610. So side to side, this, this enclosure is about 14 and a half, 15 foot wide and all the way up to the ceiling, which is about nine foot, three inches. And the screen goes all the way up. So, I mean, this screen completely fills this whole space. Uh, the carpet's great. The glue's already dried, so it's sticking well. I'll say this, maybe if you get the stick in the stick on carpet, mix the boxes a little bit. Uh, I bought the same color, bought four boxes and it looks like half are a slightly lighter color, half are darker. And I mean, when I laid them, I laid them, you know, uh, like they said, but one looks like it's just a slightly different shade. So anyway, probably mix those tiles up next time. So yeah, this should be the end of the, uh, this video. Um, the next video you'll see will be the installation of the projector, the lighting, and then I'll just be waiting for the SkyTrack system to arrive. So again, if you've got any questions, uh, you know, you can ask a question on the video here. I'll, I'll give you uh, the best answer that I have. But I mean, this thing is, is great. Uh, couldn't be more happy with the way that it turned out. All right, so uh, I've already hit some balls under the screen. I mean, you need to take a look at how tight you get it. Um, everything went fine. I hit a drive into it and it, it sent it back at me pretty good. So I'll have to go in here uh, on the sides, which I can open it up to show you. Uh, but they just got a bunch of bungees that hold it. So if you open it up, you can kind of see the bungee straps that are down inside there that could hold it. So uh, what I read is you can you can remove bungees if you need to. So the SkyTrack system says that it wants you to use uh, brand new golf balls. So I went on and bought 12 brand new balls. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys, and I, I've still got the electrical kind of roughed in. I just wanted to uh, make sure it's all up there. So what I did is I went and bought a, uh, a nice piece of wood that's about four foot long. And it runs uh, back up inside here. Now the original measurements on the short throw said that it should have been six feet from the screen. Uh, you know, to fill that screen up. What I actually found was we needed to be somewhere around 12 feet. So what I'm going to do is turn this thing on so you guys can see it. Okay. So <clears throat> up here, I've got the light that I was talking about. Um, it lights up the mat down here pretty good. And uh, we ended up putting one of the Chromecast things on here because what I found was, and you'll see in a later part of this video, when you go to stream a movie or something like that um, from the iPad, it will play the sound, but I will not play the video. So I didn't know that. So I went on and ran our HDMI cable down. Everything's kind of roughed in. I've got a kind of a computer stand over here. Uh, and it'll go over here for all the iPad and all that stuff to set up on. Uh, what I actually did last night as well is I bought some of the theater seats that will go here. So I bought four theater seats. Uh, bought a big surround sound for this thing. So, I mean, the theater seats were about $300 a piece and with the surround sound was about another thousand dollars for the room down here, which would put us closer to the 6,500 to $7,000 mark. But, you know, a thousand dollars of that probably could have been avoided, you know, if you don't necessarily want your uh, room to also serve as a theater room, I guess is the best way to put it. So, so, uh, <clears throat> Also went to Lowe's today. I was looking for a curtain that was about 108 inches. 84 is about all they had. So I needed to block this heat coming from, uh, the light coming from these windows over here. So that worked out pretty well. Uh, really darkens this room up. Right now I've got a light on, so I'll turn this light off so you guys can see how dark it is.
I mean, 1080p, I mean, this thing is amazing. I uh, cannot wait to hit some golf balls under this. It's going to be awesome. So, you know, again, you can kind of see the way that I have it roughed up there. The idea behind the long board was as I set this up and mess with the aspect ratio, I would have to move that forward and backwards. I actually had to move the projector from up here back about three different times to get it to fill the screen completely. But, you know, once I got that, it was pretty much fine. So, and like I said, I've already, I've already hit quite a few shots off this thing today. I'll tell you this, Matt, it really feels like you're hitting from grass. Um, feels like you're hitting from a fairway or a tee box. It actually feels really good. I mean, it's an expensive mat, but I gotta be honest, I think it's worth it. So I'll end up going and likely disconnecting some of the bungee cords on the bottom. It does have a weighted mat down here that connects to the bottom of the screen where my fingers are pointing. And that'll let the screen take a little bit more of the impact and maybe not return the ball back towards you. But like I said, I hit a drive and it, it, uh, it sent it back I ended up catching the ball after it hit me. So, um, it's a little freaked out at first, you know, with the swing and everything, but I don't even come close to anything. Uh, not the ceiling, not the projector or anything. So, yeah, I've got more matting and one bought today. So this is really probably going to be another video for another day, but I got enough mat to, uh, complete this space here. And, and again, our theater seats will sit right here. And I have the projector set up to where it'll pretty much automatically find it. So, let me just switch the input. So I go from the Chromecast back to the iPad. So right now I don't have any of the SkyTrack stuff on here, but you know, if, if you like to watch YouTube, if that's your thing, You must remember who you are. The one true king. You know what's weird is the, uh, the video Disney's quality the through the iPad, through the HDMI from uh, YouTube or Netflix isn't really that great. But if you use your cell phone through Chromecast, it's actually not that. And with that, we're going to wrap up the install video. If you guys have any questions about cost or, or anything like that, again, I know I've covered this a couple times in the video, but uh, what I'll do again is uh, these 24 inch by 24 inch stick on tiles are about $93 a box. Bought four boxes of those, put me about 500 bucks in. This whole enclosure to include the screen and everything is about 1500 bucks. This from Real Fill golfmats.com 550 to 600 bucks projector from amazon short throw uh bnq not, not a top model but i believe it was seven seven fifty probably got a hundred bucks in cabling um uh, bought a new ipad air that thing was 500 bucks uh then you have the skytrack monitoring system itself and i got the one that has the tgc with it and all that was about uh, 2,500 bucks. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of, uh, what's coming with the SkyTrack launch system, uh, diesel trucks, off-roading, gaming, whatever it is, uh, try to post a video at least once a week. So 